this is just to give you a big picture and then we will go back. Just like any other engineering we are also interested in y equal to f of x. If you see this equation is so powerful that 90 percent of engineering is based on this equation that is all. Not only in optimization, not only in what we are doing. What linear algebra what you are doing? You are only doing this that is all. MATLAB 90 percent is based on this. You know how to solve a equal to bx, you are half an engineer. Then you need to only train yourself in the domain that you know. But you should know everything in solving a equal to bx that is all ok. That is all this is that is all is this what is a coefficients x is x1 x2 x3 that is all you need you know that you can solve half of the problems ok. Now the question in terms of optimization is first there is a design space this is all the engineer knows sometimes the engineer does not know even this you know what the factors are but you are not sure whether only those are the factors or there are also other factors. Okay. So, then we say that trivial many to vital few. So, you, you cannot say like efficiency of engine is dependent on infinite number of factors, but infinite number of factors you cannot use for designing. You will have to bring it down to few. Then, so I have design space x1 and x2 because I can show only two variables here, but it can be n dimensions also. Now, the second question is this is what you want that is what we are talking about this whole time correct. I want a f, I want a g, I want a h so that I can write this f of x is what I want to minimize such that it is g of x is less than 0 less than or equal to 0. But for that I need my f and g that is what we are trying to see here. You are giving me a design space, you are asking me a function f of x. I do not have this function, I have to construct this function. How will I construct? You are also saying for any combination of x1 and x2 for me to get the response is going to take 4 days for one combination. So, I cannot give you infinite combinations. So, you need to give few combinations here so that I can construct this function. We will worry about constructing this function later. So, there is, so there is also a budget for doing this. They say we will give you about 30 days, 1 month you take, 4 weeks you take, you do whatever it is, you give me the function. Then what you do? You say, okay, each uh, simulation in a cluster runs for 6 hours. So, if I am smart, I will batch this into a single run. So, 6 hours means per day it is 4 runs you can do, okay. So, for 30 days I can do 120 runs. So, I will start populating 120 points in my design space meaning 120 points like this. Each one is a different x1, x2 combination. They are likely to give different y values. Now, how can I place these points inside this design space? What should be my criteria? That is also a criteria, correct? I can say I do not like right side, so we will keep all of them in the left side. Then this guy says, no, no, I do not like a rectangle, you know, let us do a circle that two at the center and we will put all the points inside that. Then some person who is an engineer comes and says, hey, you know that design space are decomposed into good and bad. So, and always the left side is bad because it is lower. So, we will always only sample on the right side, right top possible all are, all are alternatives right some alternative you can have how will you choose where will you put these points or without any of these assumptions also someone comes and says I know that you can grid it like this ok and then one point in each grid imagine that you can grid it into 120 then you will put one point into each grid. This is called uniform sampling, they are all equispaced. But there is a problem with uniform sampling, what is that? Imagine that I have a curve like this, sinusoidal curve, okay. I give you 4 points, 
So, you do equidistance. What do you do? You put it here, you put it here, you put it here, you put it here. What is your function approximation now? This will be your function approximation. Correct, right? You had 4 points. Everywhere it gave you, I do not know, let this be 2. It gave you 2. So, you said even by me changing my x, it is always giving me 2. So, the function value is 2. So, there is a problem with, but then you should have some information on your response. No one will do this because you know the function is periodic. Okay. You do uniform sampling when the function is aperiodic. Okay. But there are certain reasons why people would not want to do a periodic sampling, which is uniform sampling. Okay. So, then they said, uh, okay, but what, okay, you are doing this, but what should be your goal you believe? When I am putting these points, whether it is 4 or 40 or 400, what is the, what is it that you are looking for? Yeah, so I should trend pattern, I should be able to approximate that approximate, I am not using that word because that approximation is one level more because you are going to fit and there could be a fitting error. It, it is not the problem with the data. You, you are fitting it in a way that is not related to the data. Okay. So, the data itself, I would like to extract as much as I can. Okay. So, uh, imagine that uh, someone is visiting your lab from uh, what country do you like other than India? Huh? America. Okay. So, some collaborator from the US comes he is visiting your lab. Okay. So, the person says, I am going to stay here for one year okay. and I am interested in knowing the culture of uh, Chennai, let us say. Okay. Let us say that he knows the culture, meaning like he knows where all to visit Chennai to expose this guy to the culture of India or Chennai, whatever it is. Okay. He says that I am going to be here one year and let us say every Saturday, Sunday I am available. Okay. So, that is each point. So, then he has a relaxed time. He says, okay, 365 days, 52 weeks, 2 days in each week. So, there is lot of days. So, I will take one by one you can do. Okay. But the same visitor comes and says, I am staying here only one month. Okay. And then the last week I am going to travel. So, I do not have time. Only 3 weeks, 2 days in each week, 6 days. Now, I want to experience Chennai. So, you know that you cannot go to every nook and corner and visit. But how will you schedule your visits? No, no, don't worry about the timing and all that. <laughs> I will go in metro, do not worry about that. What I am saying is what will be your goal? I mean that also comes into picture, how far you travel and all that also becomes. But what will be your goal if you want to expose? So, your idea is I will visit as many places, but that is again limited, right? I can love to take, I love to go that far, I can go only to these many places. But I will choose the places in such a way that it will give the diversity of Chennai or India, whatever you, you are worried about. Okay? That is the goal here. There is only limited simulations. You cannot ask for a million simulations. I will tell you that you can run only 25 simulations. But you will have to choose the places where you are going to simulate. Okay? If I take you to a, you know, like a park hotel bar, then I will also take you to a local bar for you to understand what is the diversity of Chennai. Okay. So, I take you to a high class restaurant, I will also take you to a low class restaurant. Okay. Then if I take you to, I do not know, like a cinema theatre, then I also need to take you to a drama theatre for you to understand what is the social expansion. Okay. So, I take you to a private beach, then I will also take you to a Besan Nagar beach for you to understand what is the diversity. So, that is, that is how and then, you know, this is two extremes of the same stuff, but also culture wise, I will choose what will expose you, which will give you a different stuff. Now, imagine that in the morning, um, I took you to a, you know, dancer 1 Bharatanatyam and then in the evening, I took you to dancer 2 Bharatanatyam. Does that uh, enlarge your knowledge any much, anything about Bharatanatyam? Maybe a little bit, but about Bharatanatyam in general, it will not increase much, right? But instead, if I took you to some folk dance in the morning and then took you to a Bharatanatyam in the evening, yes, you have a little bit more understanding of what different types of dances are, okay? So, I want to get as much information from this limited number of points. That should be your goal. But obviously, these are all verbal. You need to cast it as an optimization problem. That is what all your 
Ola and Uber are doing. Okay, because they want to have as many pickups as they can. Okay, and that's why you don't get cars in the Adair gate. If you are smart enough, what you should do is, is you should book it from the Velocity gate because that's where they have their storehouse in Phoenix Mall. You understand, right? If they have to come to Adair, there is no parking spot for them in Adair, so they cannot park anywhere. Okay, so you will, you won't have you see in the thing you will never see any some passerby is there you will come, but you put in Velocity. In the immediate neighborhood, there are 50 cars there. Okay, so that's how they are doing: minimize distance and maximize pickups. So you should know that and run your algorithm accordingly. <laughs> you maximize your chances by picking one from where. Correct, right? If you want to pick someone, there are like 50 cars there. In Adair, you should be lucky to have a car. Okay, so always schedule it from the Velocity side. So that's an algorithm, right? Basically. So the deal is, um, I need to locate these points in such a way that I will maximize my information. But boss, you do not know the function, how will you maximize your information? So, it should not, there is, it is called exploration and exploitation, okay. We are only talking about exploration here, okay. So, what it will do is, is it is trying to use some relationship between x1 and x2 in terms of correlation and place the points in such a way that it will grab the maximum information, okay. In case there are some, what do you call like constrained design of experiments. Someone came and told, you know what, this is the zone of interest. Then yes, I will just put few points here and then the remaining all will go here, just to get an idea of what this area is and then I will go and get it here, okay. But that is usually not the case, it is only done in an adaptive sense, but people are doing such algorithms, okay. This is generic. So, once you have a design of experiment at each of, so please understand, generating design of experiment is not a problem. You give me 20 dimensions also, I can generate it in MATLAB or R or any Python or anything, okay. Generating these points is not a problem, okay. There is a function inside this room. I have told you, right, you do not know the function. There is a function inside this room, okay. So, now you are trying to approximate this function. I am telling you that you can use 20 points. So, you are just throwing these 20 points Imagine that these mic are all one one point, that node is one one point, okay. Throwing these points in space is not a problem, there is no expense in this. You just need to do some algorithm such that there is some min max algorithm that it needs to satisfy, that is all, okay. Throwing these points is not a problem, but finding the function value at those points is what the challenge is, because that is what is going to take you 4 days. Okay, so you can throw as many points as you want, but evaluating those points is where the challenge comes in. Okay, so throwing these points is not a problem. Sorry, throwing these points is not a problem, but of course you should be wise enough to know that you will not be able to evaluate all the points. So you put limited number of points, and you run the analysis, and it gives you the response at each of these points, which is your f of x, and then in terms of x one and x, I don't know whether you are able to see there are some dots here. Okay, so there are some dots here. For the sake of completion, I added a few dots. <laughs> okay, so there are some dots here, and uh, I am fitting a surface of F in terms of X1 and X2. Do not worry, this is the surrogate model that you are going to talk about how to fit it is what the rest of the course is, so do not worry. Now once you have this, one application we have seen is optimization, but you can do lot of other things. One is you can do the sensitivity analysis, you can have nested access plot to look at what variable, what affects visualization, you can do an optimization. Under optimization, it could be deterministic or non-deterministic, what I mean is uh, non-deterministic means, uh, for instance, your force is not a deterministic variable, it is a random variable, then your failure is also random. So, there are things called the robust design and reliable design, which is out of scope for this discussion. So, do not worry about that part. See, sometimes what happens is, you are really not interested in an optimization. Let us say thickness was one of your variables, sheet metal thickness. You run the optimization and it gave you 12.8 mm. It does not make any sense, because you go to Velocity to the hardware shop, you get aluminum or steel sheets 
of either 12 mm or 14 mm okay so you say 12.8 it says then we should go for 14 your existing design itself is 14 only what did you optimize okay so unless you are tata you cannot generate 12.8 so, does it mean that the study was uh, was not useless, it is rendered useless? No, no, it is not rendered useless. So, I need to know what my sensitivity is. Often times people just need to, you go to, we work with few car companies where they say that, you just tell me the direction in which it increases, that is all. You just need to tell me. Just give me the direction where I need to uh, increase or reduce thickness, that is all I need to know. Nothing else, do not give me some value and all, I am not expecting and it will not happen also. Because today they are sourcing almost 60 percent of the components from outside other than engine everything else is being sourced. There are some manufacturing tolerances this that and all that. They say that you give me some x1 to x5 final design variable combination and all we cannot achieve. There is no way that it is possible. So, you just tell me you should increase x1, you should decrease x2, you keep x3 and x4 the same, x5 you increase. You are likely to reduce your weight that is all I want. I will decide what I should do. Okay the direction is what I want to know. This becomes very important for them in aerodynamic studies, not in structural. In aerodynamics, because they cannot go and change, right, this clay modeling and all that they try to do to get the, the aerodynamic and then they put it in the wind tunnel for testing. They cannot do as many tests. It becomes very, very expensive for them. So, is the case with crash tests and all that, okay. So, in such cases, what they want to know is, is only the sensitivity. If you are going to change variable number 32, x 32 by 0.2 units, how much will your response change? The catch in this is there is also interaction. When you are changing x32, did you change x28? Will there be a interaction? You need to worry about that one also, okay. So, the sensitivity study becomes access plots, visualizations. Today, with data, in big data, one of the major things is visualization. How will you visualize the data? For instance, one of our students is looking at some methods to visualize not big data, but even the regular data. How would you visualize data? More than two dimensions, I cannot show you even a contour plot here, okay. I can only show you projections which it does not show you the relationship, okay. That is all limited it is, okay. So, visualization techniques becomes very important because if you can see a peak, nothing like that. If you can see a value, nothing like that, okay. It will not show you a peak or value. It will tell you that this is the direction okay, it is increasing, it is decreasing, some information it will give, okay. And of course, optimization. So, this whole thing is called design space exploration, okay. Often times people do not do optimization for finding the final combination. They want to know the history, which all points did it go in the, ah, so, okay, this point is near optima, good enough. This is something that we already have. Then they will look at their library and then they will figure out in 1982, they built a model that is similar to this design. Then they want to know knowledge based understanding or they go to the next best one. There is some relationship between these two, why? They want that kind of an understanding often rather than giving one that is only for our class, just giving one final value for x1, x2 and then finding what it is, okay. So, what I am trying to tell you is to as the title suggests, it is a big picture, okay. So, you are not really hunting for one thing, you want to have an overall understanding of your design space. Hence, we also need to be able to approximate your function in an overall sense, not only in a local sense. Though your interest in optimization is in a local sense, you want to understand how the function varies in an overall sense. This is from a design perspective.